Radio access network vendor recognition can in some cases be incredibly trivial, like at this EE3 Phase 5 site which has characteristic cabinets, Samsung cabinet for 3 4G and a Huawei cabinet for EE 2G and 4G. However, not all sites are quite this straightforward and in many cases the radio equipment isn't necessarily actually visible at all. Fortunately, a reliable method exists for establishing the vendor that an operator is using in these cases, namely looking at the signalling messages between the device and the network, which contain hallmarks to indicate which vendor is broadcasting the 4G. There are a range of methods of viewing the signalling messages varying from expensive analyzers to what I will show you today, which is Network Signal Guru running on a OnePlus 8 Pro, but other software and other phone combinations also work. A proviso before I show the messages though, in some occasions operators change some or all of these values and therefore it is not guaranteed that it will 100% of the time indicate the correct vendor. So this is on EE at the moment because they are the Huawei network at this site. And what we're interested in are the signaling messages. As this has been connected for some time, there isn't really the messages that we want there. So what I'm going to do is flip aeroplane mode on and then off again. And then you'll see we get a whole inrush of messages in order to manage the inrush of messages there, what I've done off screen is just press the lock button, which then freezes the view so that you can scroll through much easier. The ones that we're interested in are the system information. So, so we've got system information block type one there and then some other system information. What I tend to dive for is the SIB2. We've got a SIB5 there, so I'll just go back and then we've got another SIB5 there to go up here. And now we have the SIB2. What I look for in this to start off with are the Delta F list PUCCH. So here we've got Delta F0, Delta F3, Delta F1, Delta F2, Delta F2, which is very suggestive of Huawei. If we browse up a bit in the power ramping information, we've got a power ramping step of DB2 and then a preamble initial receive target power of DBM 104, or minus 104. Again, very suggestive of Huawei. The next features I look for are in the SIB3. Now, helpfully, the SIB3 in this case is just under the SIB2. And what we're looking for here is the presence antenna port one being false, and then the nay cell config being 01B or one. The final feature that I look for is in the system information block one. And what we're looking for is a Pmax. And within this system information block one, there is no Pmax, which is also suggestive of Huawei. So in other words, the EE4G is pointing to be Huawei from the messages, which is what we expected from these very dirty Huawei 2G, 4G, 1800 megahertz cabs. Helpfully, the OnePlus 8 Pro is dual SIM, and the other SIM that I've got in here is three. So what I'm gonna do is move over to three here, and once again, our messages are all mostly paging. So what I'm going to do is flip airplane mode on, and then off again, and we get our flood of messages once more. As before, I'm going to look for our SIB2 to start off with. There we've got a SIB3. So let's go to our SIB2 and then down to our Delta Fs. So we can see here in our Delta F list, we've got F0, F3, F2, 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 which is very much to be expected from this site because it's Samsung. Then what we're looking for is our power ramping step which is DB2 and our preamble, which is DBM minus 108. Again, very much what we would expect from a Samsung site. 
So next we go to our Sib 3, which does not look to be at the bottom of our Sib 2 there. So I'll look for it here, and we've got our Sib 3. Presence antenna port 1 is true. And then our nay cell config is 0, 1B, or 1 once more. If we then go to our Sib 1, there is once again not a Pmax value there. So the 3 4G here is appearing to be Samsung from the Sibs, which is what we expect given there's a Samsung cabinet. In order to show some typical Ericsson signaling messages, I'm at this O2 Ericsson RBS6102 site. And once again, what we're going to do is bring up our network signal guru and scroll over to the signaling messages. It's just paging once again because it's been connected for a bit. So what I'm now going to do is go into aeroplane mode again and then switch it off. And then we get our nice inrush of messages there. So what I'm going to do is lock it again. And then if we scroll up and there's our SIP2 and our delta Fs are F0, F3, F0, F0, F0. Scrolling up a bit, we have a power ramping step of DB4 and a preamble initial receive target power of DBM minus 110. The SIB3 is located down here and we have a presence antenna port one of false and a neighbor cell config of 10B or two. So it's just a case of going up to our SIB1 and there is no Pmax there. So in other words, this is Ericsson, very much like we expect. Unfortunately, to my knowledge, there are no Nokia 4G E node Bs or ZTE slash ZTE E node Bs in this area either. So to show off their typical values, I'm going to have to use some logs that I got earlier. As it's cold outside, I have gone in to look at the log and once again, I'm using the OnePlus 7 Pro 5G that I used for the O2 Ericsson segment here to show you an O2 Nokia log from Norfolk. So we have our messages here. So let's first go in our SIB2 and we have our Delta F once again. So in this case, it's F0, F1, F0, F0, F0. And if we then go up, we have a power ramping step of DV2 and a preamble of DBN minus 100 for the initial received target power there. If we go down, there is no SIB3 here, so I'll go and try and find that. And here we have our SIB3. Neighbor cell config is 00B0 and presence antenna port of true. If I then just go up to the system information block type one, we have a Pmax here now, which is 23. And finally, ZTE. So I have a load of SIBs here loaded into Notepad. And once again, we go to our SIB2 to start off with and scrolling down. For our Delta F list, we have Delta F2, F3, F1, F2, F2. And scroll Going up a bit for our power ramping step, we've got DB2 and preamble initial received target power of DBM minus 100. For the SIB3 here, we have a presence antenna port 1 of true and an A cell config of 01B or 1. And then if we go all the way to the top to our SIB1, then there is a Pmax of 23. So in table form, it looks like this, but like I say, proviso being that these values are sometimes changed either in part or fully, and therefore in some cases, it can be a little bit misleading. Now it's time for the challenge. Your task is to establish the vendor of this 4G L21 without cheating, just by using the system information box. So to do this, I will dig up the system information blocks that are needed. So we need a 
sib2 and within that we have our delta f0, f3, f0, f0, f0. The preamble is dbm minus 110 and the power ramping step db4. If we go down to the sib3 we have a presence antenna port 1 of false and a neighbor cell config of 2. And then if I go back to the system information block one, we have no Pmax there. The site ticks all the boxes of Ericsson on our SIB table. And unsurprisingly, it is Ericsson, being in fact one of the first e Ericsson 5G sites and a site in which I covered in the e Ericsson 5G video. Thanks for watching this video about vendor recognition from SIBS. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.